we had a book published in 1999 uh, by Gustavo Gilli and that was very much a, a catalogue of work up until that point in time. In fact, things like a corporation, buildings like the Corporation Street Foot Bridge were really only in design. Um, but it was only a catalogue. And uh, so firstly, we hadn't documented our work since the millennium. But I, but I wanted something a little bit more meaningful. Um, I also wanted it to be, um, I, I wanted it to be external commentary on, on the, the work of the practice. So it wasn't just about documenting work, it was about wanting sort of external observations as to the relevance of the work and the influences of, of the work and just how it, how the how the, the work of the practice fits into a wider canon of architecture. So that was that was the brief that I gave to the various authors who contributed to the book. Okay. And is there anything in particular about that book that you think is uh, summarises uh, Hodder's work over you know twenty five years, a quarter of a century? If there was there was one thing, or I, it... I don't think there's a singular thing that um, captures. Um, the essence of what we were about, uh, and that was just the point. How um, our work is very particular to place. The influence of Arne Jacobson, why we're based in Manchester, um, why the making of buildings is important to us. Those are themes that I wanted the book to explore, and I'm, or even to test whether or not you know what we do, what we do is what we do is relevant. Um, so there wasn't really one theme that I wanted to um, uh, that I wanted to come out of the book. Um, yes, I wanted it to capture the work that we've done since 1999 and the, and the first book, but but I did want a much more um, in-depth discussion about the relevance of what we do.